So hi, this is Dr. Nicole Sleeman, your candidate for Division 6, and I'm here today with Chris, who lives in my division. Would you like to introduce yourself a bit more, Chris? Hi, Nicole. Well, thanks for coming over and, and giving me the time to voice some opinions. So I appreciate it. Yeah. No, you're but so welcome. I'm uh, Chris Whiten, and I live at um, Stratford. I won't give you the exact address, but here we are in mm -hmm. my gorgeous house with my beautiful garden surrounding us. And I've been here for 10 years since my accident, a uh, mountain biking accident um, in 2013. Um, but managed to stay in the same house and everything was hunky dory. So um, I've been for a swim today. The world is a good place. Uh, I'm 68 this August coming up. Um, I have one beautiful child down in uh, Melbourne, Julia. Uh, she's happy and successful and lots of lovely friends around the place so I can't complain. But that's me in a nutshell. I, and I'm with a gorgeous woman named Joyce Lester. <laughs> Better give her some plug. A plug. Yeah. <laughs> so you've been in a wheelchair for 10 years, you said? Yeah. Since your accident? Yes. Yeah. Right. So, so I kind of want to talk to you today about your experience of CAMS, mm. being in a wheelchair. Yep. Um, you know, I'm part of the Community First team and we're all about equity and building inclusive communities. Uh, and so I want to hear your experience of what it's like being in a wheelchair in Cairns and you know what your access is like to different places both in Division 6 mm. and around Cairns as a whole. Mm. Uh, well thank you for asking, thank you and thanks for the time. <laughs> um, there are some things, look I think uh, uh, we were talking about it before as far as the city goes, uh, I, I don't go into the city too much so I can't really, I mean uh, the, what, from what I've had experience in there lately it seems okay sidewalk and stuff are okay. Yeah. The suburbs might be a bit different, the footpaths might be a bit tree rooty and a bit upset, but you know, that might be a bit difficult. But people, you don't see people around on, on their wheelchairs much during the day, it's kind of odd. Mm. But I think the things that um, uh, I, I have to say are more about the little things, like um, there are issues at a pool that I use that uh, could be sold very quickly. Uh, now, I talk to people at the pool, and they're wonderful people, and I don't know what the chain of command is, but it's little things like having the right equipment for people to get into public pools, mm. uh, having access to public pools. Um, things like, and this is a kind of a weird one too, but you know, people when they look at uh, a place to go on holidays and they see uh, a room that's disability friendly, often it's not that way. It, it's kind of half or a third or whatever, but it's never the whole thing. Mm, yeah, there's a place, a beautiful place that I like to visit in Cairns here, and uh, they've got fantastic rooms, great bathrooms, but they have a bed that's almost impossible to get into because of a big running board that runs mm. around the middle of it. Little things like that, you know. Yeah, it's things I would never think of. That, well, like that, that nobody does think of it. But they just think if they put a couple of bars in the bathroom, that's disability process. But mm. It's not, you need other bits and pieces in there, you know. Mm. Um, so it's those little things, I guess, that a more issue for me and my lifestyle. Mm. Um, I, I, I've honestly had nothing but good experiences with people around the place, so the attitude towards people with disabilities here is fantastic, I think. Mm. But I'm not sure who's in charge of things now uh, in the council area and who uh, Ian Shill used to be, he's a friend of mine and a, and a good fella, but I don't know who the new person is. Um, so what that entails and what that job entails, whether it gets to the point where council makes it mandatory for rooms to be really user friendly for people with disabilities, you know, and have someone look at the design and say, that's not good enough. Mm. Um, I know it's too late for a lot of places in town now, but you know, there are a lot of five star hotels where I can't get into the pool. Yeah, frustrating. Yeah, yeah, and it sounds to me like swimming is really something that's good for your health and well, it is, and I do it often, you. but I do, and I do it just to cool off too, like you do up in Cairns here, yeah, but I do it for yeah. training. Yeah. Yeah. But when I'm at a resort somewhere, like Mission Beach or whatever, getting in the pool is a bit of a, a drama, and mm. getting out is bigger. Yeah. So um, I can fall in, that's no drama, but getting out is the issue. Yeah. yeah. It sounds like really planning um, our spaces and, you know, our community places for people of all body types, mm. you know, whether you're in a wheelchair or, you know, able to walk, yeah. it's really important and it's probably yeah. the responsibility of council to, to be thinking about these things. Well, I think so, and I think to have a person dedicated to that too, and I, and I don't know what that would entail and what the, what the, the details of that position uh, is or are, 
But it would be interesting to have a look at it from my point of view as a layman. You, you probably won't, once you get in and become our counsellor, <laughs> uh, you uh, can maybe have a look at all that stuff. But it'd be just interesting to see how they conduct their activities around the town and around the city and see what they do. Mm, yeah, just definitely. out of interest. Definitely. And I how do you find it around Division 6? Oh, I think it's it's okay. I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, there's places like um, I could mention down here at the new restaurant in our suburb. There's still a big step to get up into it, mm. and I've got to get dragged up backwards. Now that doesn't bother me because I've humility's out the window now. It doesn't bother me at all. What how mm. I get into places, but you know. Uh, on the other hand, I had a vet who's a good friend of mine who. Um, who uh, had a place out at uh, Mulgrave Road and got a ramp put in for me and others mm. like me, but for me in particular because I used to visit all the time. Yep. But he made a ramp or got the owner of the place to put a put a stainless steel one in. So mm. you know there are things that can be adapted to places that aren't suitable now. It's not it's not that difficult. Mm. So yeah, and it's not that bigger. It, it, it's sort of a small percentage of the population that doesn't probably concern a lot of people, but but the, but the people who it does concern it concerns probably deeply. Yeah, it's a huge thing, you know? isn't it? So I think with, with that, with a finger on that pulse that the person in the council does that, that sort of work, it'll be successful and continue to expand, I guess, and what they do around the place to make everything new or everything old new again to as far as accessibility goes. Mm. So would you like to see someone engaging with yourself and you know other people who experience disability? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I'd be, I mean, yeah, I, I would love to give them my thoughts on, on things that they were uh, willing to listen and, and stuff. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a layman, I'm a youth worker of 20 years and a carpenter by trade. But uh, and uh, but I think I know after 10 years what's needed to, uh, to suit someone in my position. And there are many different people, different disabilities, different people with different things going on that will have a different opinion to mine. Mm. So, and they may have forums, etc. but but I, but I would, if, if someone approached me to, to point some of these things out to them and then follow them through, I'd be very happy to do that. Yeah. 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 I've got nothing else to do, I'm retired. <laughs> I'm just a Play guitarist, guitar. I'm just a <laughs> musician. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I think you just brought something um, useful up there about a forum, and I think that uh, as part of the Community First team, if any of us get elected to council, yeah. I think I can commit for the team that we will hold a public forum uh, for people experiencing disabilities. Sure. Um, and to ask about how, as a council, we can do a better job to make our community more inclusive, yeah. uh, you know, safer and more connected. I think that's a great idea, and you could do it digitally, I mean, by screens, whatever it's called, yeah. if you wanted. Uh, so it'd be easy to do, and it'd be great to be part of it. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, I'm invited to you, Thanks, Chris. <laughs> and Chris is going to be along at um, my meet and greet next Thursday at Narrow Tracks, so come along yeah, to see yeah. Chris play Place the guitar. Yep, be our background music, show us your talent. It'd be wonderful to have you there. Thanks, Thanks for the talk. Yeah, no, thank you for being part of it. Thanks, Nicole.